Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Firewall Gan. In this video we are going to see a very interesting topic regarding the licensing. Uh, I always try to come up with uh, videos where you have uh, information on the issues which generally we face during our admin life of Checkpoint Firewall. Uh, in this video, I am also going to talk uh, one of the issues generally the admin face during the their admin life when they do work uh, with the companies. So uh, right now, uh, you on my screen you are able to see that uh, this cross mark everywhere, and when I hover my mouse over there, you can see everywhere it's saying that uh, license status. So when I hover my mouse towards the gateway, it's saying the firewall no license, firewall no license. However, if I go to the CLI, this is my CLI, and if I type the command CP license print, I can see my gateway having expiration date. Uh, today it's 18th of Jan 2023 and uh, the date of expiration license is 3rd third, uh, third of Feb 2023. Although it looks good, everything is good, uh, I can see uh, the license is in place but it's still showing me there is no valid license for the firewall. So there is a simple trick here if you see here also it's showing me that uh, the error with blade and the blade name is saying firewall no license so how you can recognize that the one thing uh, over here come to the licensing and you'll be getting you know all the licenses you have installed so far I mean, you'll be getting all the licenses you have installed so far. So here, if you see, initially the license when I started to install uh, back in 2022 uh, for the gateway, I was having this license. Say, if you can see, there's something called CPSP firewall. Okay. Uh, likewise. This guy also having a license here, but the recent license, which is for 2023, if you see here, I don't see that blade. So from my side, by mistakely, I have installed a license where I don't have this blade enabled inside that license, right? Because of that only, I am not able to get that thing, but although the license is valid uh, for this gateway and the gateway is able to install that license so it you know install that license but you know the license for the firewalling is not there that's why you are getting this issue similarly you can point it out here uh, 3rd of Feb this is the latest license and I don't see that FW firewall blade over here anywhere right but if you see on my previous licensing, uh, you will, you know, with your eye, you can notify this thing. So you need to have the current license here. And you know how to download that license. I have already uh, videos on that, uh, how we can download the current license. Although you can, you know, come here to your uh, smart update. And from here also, you can check if the license is already there but what license is all about so if you see this is my gateway ip address 192.168.1.101 uh, and it's saying all the licenses the latest one is all about the security management container to manage all unlimited things so gateway is able to install the license for the the license which was earlier for the management server right so this is the case 
so now i'm going to show you how to get a license uh, this things is shown earlier in multiple videos you just have to follow the steps and get the license installed basically i went to the checkpoint side and from there to the product evaluation then i have selected the all-in-one license and over there now i have given this uh, management server ip address and once the evaluation of that license is generated i'll give it uh, uh, as a local license and over there i'll give my gateway ip address uh, for this there is this is a cluster so i have to do same step for two ip addresses so you just have to watch the same things and perform the same uh, in your environment <music> So evaluation is got generated and now I am into the license tab. If you click the license tab, it will take you to the, the licensing page and it will ask you what license you want to have, whether it's a central or it's local. So we have to select central here. So if you select, uh, we have to select local here. If you select a local, it will give you the uh, new option where you can put the management server IP address and get IP address and general license this is what you need to follow guys